I'm going to show you how you can tie a very simple and useful paracord lanyard on just about any tool. I'll be showing you a simpler and then a fancier version. So let's weave. First off, here is the simple one. I've got about three and a half feet of paracord. And with the paracord folded in half, I'm going to place the standing ends on the tool handle. Then I'm going to wrap the other end around once, pass over the standing end the first time, then go around for a second pass, and then bring the running end over the standing end one more time. Then finally, I'm going to pass the midpoint of the cord under the passes where they cross over. Make sure you go under both sets of passes. And I'm just going to use my Marlin spike to make a path here for you to see. Then pull the midpoint bite under the passes. From there, we can tighten the knot by pulling on both ends. Try to tighten this as hard as you can, make it nice and secure. If the standing ends are too short, you can use some pliers to get a better grip on the ends. And if you need to, adjust the positioning so that it's towards the butt end of the tool. To finish this version off, you can just tie a simple overhand knot. My ends here were a little short, so I apologize for not being able to show the overhand knot clearly, but I'm sure you all know how to tie that knot. And this knot is going to prevent the ends from slipping through. You can adjust the knot so that the overhand knot is flush with the wrapped loops. Next here is a slightly fancier version. I'm just going to tie the same knot like before, wrapping around the handle. After that, this time I'm going to rotate everything so that my standing end cords are pointing upwards. And from here, I'm going to bend both cords back and tie two cobra knots. Again, my cords are a little short, but if you want to make a larger cobra knot tab, you can use a bit more cord. And if the cobra knot end isn't flush to the wraps, you can move some slack through and get the knot right up to the wraps. After tying two cobra knots, I'm just going to snip off any excess cord, then melt the ends and press down on them. I feel like this flatter knot is better as you won't feel it as much when you're gripping the handle. And finally, if you wanna make the lanyard even more secure around your wrist, we can add one of these cord locks to the lanyard loop. It has to be a cord lock that has only one opening. I'm just going to pass the looped end through and now we can pass the lanyard over our wrist and further secure it with the cord lock. This lanyard is great for when you're using a tool in a situation where you really don't wanna drop it like working up on a ladder. And also it's great for allowing your tool to be hung from a hook for storage. Hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed it, Here's another one.